Ready? Set. Yeah. Go. Welcome to Teal House Farm. What are we doing today, ladies? Picking daff daffodils. Not daffodils. Dandelions. 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 We are going to make some dandelion jelly today. We have done this before. It tastes a little bit like a lemon honey type jelly. It's really good. And we have tons of dandelions in our yard. I'm going to mow tomorrow, so today we're going to pick those dandelions before I mow them all down and we're going to make some jelly with them. So dandelions are those little yellow ones and we just want the flower part, so don't, I mean you can I guess pick all of it and then we'll pick them off, but we only need the yellow part to make the jelly. How do, Mommy, how does it taste? Tough question. Yes. How do, what is, how do you make dandelion jam with the parts of the flowers? Well, we're going to make a tea from the flowers and yeah. then we will use sugar and pectin to make jelly. What is Mommy? Yes. How does it taste? It tastes like honey and lemon together. We need to pick about three cups worth of those flowers, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it does take a lot of flowers. So we've got two baskets. Wait a minute. No. We don't have that many. Oh, there are. There are tons. Hey in that field over there on the other side of the truck. There so, go. There ready, go. set, go. <laughs> Yep. One. Ooh, one, Ivy says. That's I think two. Ivy's bucket's a little fuller, but there are a lot of stems in here. So I said to pick about three cups because you want two cups of the heads. So once we go through and peel off all the extra green, we're hoping we have two cups left. If not, it's back outside to get more. Are you ready? Ivy's red and Annie might be blue. We're going to use a colander here to drink, to rinse them off after we pick the heads off. So right now we're gonna go through, ladies, and pick off the yellow parts and put it in here and then we're gonna rinse them. So I don't have any sense like that. Just like, like that. that, yeah, here, show the Mom, camera. Mom, can I put it in? So, can I put some in? You just want Hang the on, yellows. Hang on, it's not focused. So you just want the yellows, you don't want it. You don't want the stem want or the, the extra stem. leaves. But mm -hmm. these are fine. Like these? are almost done over there. The what? So I am saying, you're not almost done? We are almost done. Well then get to work. <laughs> I have four cups of water, a heap, I'll call it a heaping four cups. I do a little bit extra because some of it's going to evaporate. But we're gonna set this to boil. Uh, so we're gonna get that started so that when they're done, it's ready to go. Let's give them a little rinse here. Okay, we have measured out our flowers and have found we're pretty close, but not quite, Ivy. How many do I need? I need you to maybe go pick 15 more flowers. Okay, we have added four cups of hot water to a hot jar. Never pour our boiling water into a cold mason jar, they'll explode. This is a half gallon jar, by the way. Ivy is going to put a cover on it. We are gonna loosely cover it and put it in the fridge for at least six hours. Really give those flowers time to steep. All right, welcome back. This is actually two days later. So we picked the dandelions, we made the tea, and then after six hours, I strained out the dandelion heads and threw them in our compost bucket and then just left the tea in the fridge until we had time to actually make the jelly. Um, so here is our tea. I have two eager helpers. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah and the rest of our ingredients. So we have four cups of dandelion tea, four cups of sugar, 
we will need two tablespoons of lemon juice and one box of powdered pectin. Let's go! Let's go, that's right. So we're going to Let's add go. the juice, the sugar, excuse me, the tea, the sugar, and the lemon um, juice to this big pot here. You wanna use a stainless steel <coughs> pot or enamel pot if you can. Andy, would you like to pour that in? Ooh. Ooh, fancy. I'm gonna jump it in. Okay, so I I will apologize. I misspoke. So we add our tea first, which we did. Now we're going to add the powdered pectin, which JJ is going to do. No. It is not spicy. It doesn't taste like anything. Okay, we have to be very careful not to drop any of this, okay? Okay, pour it in the pot. Oh, pectin. Got it. Good Ooh. job. And two tablespoons of the lemon juice. Um, you each get to do one because it takes two. Okay. So one thing I do want to mention is the color here. So we picked the dandelions and we we chopped them all the way off to the to the heads, but we left a little bit of the green husk on the outside of the flowers. The reason for that is the first time I made this. Good job. I painstakingly peeled every single flower because the kids, um, they just don't have the um, attention span to do that kind of work. It's a lot of work. I it up. I want to it and up. it gave the jelly a beautiful golden color, but it took. I, I you got it? Well, I it but it took an incredible amount of time and it felt like a huge waste of time. So the next time we made it, I left just the very outside of the husk on the flower. It makes the color look a little bit greenier yellow, so it's not quite as pretty, but it still tastes exactly the same. I have some half pint jars in here. I think I'm only going to need five, but I made six just in case. We are going to set this to boil to sterilize our jars. They've already been cleaned in hot soapy water. I also have my rings and my lids that are clean in a pot of water and we're gonna set this to simmer on the stove to get them nice and hot and ready. And because this is a jelly made from a tea, I am comfortable canning this without actually using a canner. So we're going to add the super hot jelly to our super hot jars and put our super hot lid on. And then we're going to wrap them under a towel on the counter and listen for them all to pop. And after about 12 hours, we'll unwrap them from the towel and they should be nice and sealed and tight. Um, if you feel more comfortable using a water bath canner, you would process them for five minutes in your canner. The other question I get a lot is, can I reuse my lids? No, you cannot reuse your lids, technically. For jellies, I do, because um, I find that jellies, um, you don't have to damage the lid to get it off the jelly. And also a jelly, if you have a bad seal, jellies are shelf stable or last in the fridge for a very long time. So if one doesn't seal and I have to put it in the fridge for three months until I'm ready to use it, it's not such a big deal. Nothing compared to like if I have a can of meat that didn't seal and suddenly you basically just have to throw it away. So let's check in on our jelly, see if we're ready to add the sugar. Oh, we're getting close, but that's not quite a rolling boil. I think we got another minute, we'll be there. How's school? Good. Did you finish your sunset, Ivy? Yeah. Where's it? Oh, she already hung it up on the fridge. They made, they've been learning about South Africa and they watched a thing about safaris, so then we made sunsets. Micah was a little over ambitious, so I had to cut off half the page. But that came out really good. What is the coolest thing you learned about South Africa? South Africa has more people than in just Africa. Than the whole, you yeah. sure? Oh, it's the largest country in Africa for people? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that is cool. And it's so far south. And it's really beautiful too. Mm. It is beautiful. I wish to go. Mm. It's, it's like three days of a journey. <laughs> it probably is. I think we're ready. Okay, each girl has two cups of sugar, so that makes four in total. This is mine. We'll pour it in. Pour it in the pot. <gasps> Put it in. Good job. Okay, Annie. It smells like honey. I can even smell it. Really? <laughs> yep. All right. We're going to give it a stir. We have to bring it back to a rolling boil. And then we have to let it boil for a minute. Okay. Tell Siri to set a timer for one minute. 
Terry, set a timer for one minute. Okay. One minute. Take a scoop from here. Okay. Yeah, I can go build. Okay, you want to point this away from you. There you go. but it's not a beautiful bright golden color which again you could get if you were really meticulous about making sure there was absolutely no green on the flowers that went into your tea but that's totally up to you and how much time you want to invest and how much time you have on your hands um, so anyway that is dandelion jelly it smells and tastes a lot like honey with just a little bit of lemon which is obvious we put that lemon juice in there um, don't skip the lemon juice step. Do not adjust the amount of sugar. These proportions are really important for making the jelly both, making it so that the pectin works and also making sure that the acidity level is safe for this type of canning, for not needing to be pressure canned. So jelly or a lot of canning things, do not get creative with your ratios unless you are really uh, well versed in what you are doing and why and why the ratios are there and kind of what the safety rules are and how to make adjustments. So um, you can be willy-nilly with recipes, but when it comes to canning, really highly suggest sticking with what is written out. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you now go out and enjoy some dandelions from your own yard. Don't forget that the entire dandelion is edible. You can put the leaves on your salad. It's They've got kind of like a, an arugula type taste. You can uh, deep fry the flower heads. Um, we deep fry them with a little bit, with like a flour batter, with a little bit of red pepper flakes in them and dip them in ranch dressing for like a snack. Um, you can also just put the flower heads on a salad and eat them like that. So it's free food outside in your yard. Dandy lions aren't weeds, they are delicious. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Well, say bye. Bye.